Hi, I'm Tim from Scoop. In this video, we're going to be talking about the differences between our most popular entry-level Unify AC access points and the new U6 Lite. We'll also like to show you the results of our own in-house testing and what we recommend. The increase in internet connection speeds and accessibility has led to an increase in connected devices in households, public spaces and workplaces. Wi-Fi 6, also known as 802.11ax Wi-Fi, builds and improves on the current Wi-Fi 5 or 802.11ac Wi-Fi standard. Wi-Fi 6 is also built to cater for more concurrent connections. The reason why Wi-Fi 6 is so welcome is unlike its counterpart, Wi-Fi 5 provides better performance on both 2.4 and 5 GHz frequency bands. In addition, it uses brand new modulation and coding scheme with OFDMA, which is much better suited for higher density Wi-Fi environments. To take advantage of the benefits of Wi-Fi 6, users need to upgrade their Wi-Fi devices as more and more vendors are ramping up production to make way for this new Wi-Fi standard. Ubiquity is no exception to the list of vendors moving to Wi-Fi 6, and they have launched a few products under their very popular Unify brand. Ubiquity currently have two products available, the U6 Lite and U6 LR, but plan to add more to this lineup in the future. When comparing the U6 LR with the U6 Lite, the U6 LR has higher gain antennas, more spatial streams, and higher overall performance on both frequencies. For the purpose of this video, we want to focus exclusively on the U6 Lite. This product really grabbed our attention as it competes directly with most of our popular entry-level Wi-Fi 5 Unify APs. Uh, our objective was to determine which of these entry-level APs provided the best value for money, and this is what we found. The first thing we noticed was the name U6 Lite didn't really accurately represent the AP's capabilities. When looking at the technical specification, it's actually more comparable to the UAP AC LR. What does this mean? Firstly, the antennas in all three are similar at around 3 dBi, but there are clear differences in transmitter power levels, which directly influence distance to the clients. The U6 Lite uses 48 volt PoE only and doesn't ship with an injector. We needed to determine which of these units provided better overall performance as well as signal coverage in 5 gig. We installed these units on the ceiling at our offices in an open plan area for the performance test. And to make things more real world, we connected an additional four devices, but later found this didn't really influence the results at all. The speed tests were done using iPerf on a Wi-Fi 6 compatible MacBook Pro at around 5 meters away to a cabled iPerf server. This is using the cleanest possible 80 MHz channel at around 50 dB signal to noise ratio. We also wanted to see how the U6 Lite would perform with Wi-Fi 5 clients, so we also ran a separate speed test to another client. Taking a look at the table, as expected, the U6 Lite outperforms its counterparts when using Wi-Fi 6 clients by around 20 to 25%. This is excellent news for clients with compatible devices. Wi-Fi 5 users, however, don't appear to get much benefit from the new chipset on the U6 Lite. Next up was our signal test, where we measured the signal strength using Ubiquiti's Wi-Fi Man app. We measured at the same distance as our performance test, and then from a closed room with a single brick wall in between. This is where we expected the UAP ACLR to shine, as it's really renowned for its good antenna design and has been tried and tested in the field for some time now. We are very surprised to see that the U6 Lite actually outperformed our best-selling Unify access point. Apart from the higher speeds and better signal, we found the U6 Lite was capable of maintaining higher data rates at longer distances. This is great for Wi-Fi 6 clients that are further away, but also reduces rate flapping for mobile users. The U6 Lite is a clear winner for us and knocks the UAP ACLR off its perch as the undisputed king of entry-level UAPs. With both products being similar in price, it makes almost no sense to buy the UAP ACLR. Even if you're not planning on upgrading your clients to Wi-Fi 6, you can future-proof your network and have a better product for almost the same amount of money. We hope that you enjoyed our take on Ubiquiti's U6 Lite, and we're looking forward to benchmarking the U6 LR when we get our hands on it. If you like our content, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. I'm Tim from Scoop, and thank you so much for watching.